I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's Edward, up, buddy? How, how are you? Doing? I'm, I'm good. Right. I'm good. Uh, I wanted to bring up something right away, mm-hmm. and it is the gift exchange at a job. Or, or, yeah. or, when you do have a job where you like the people you're working with, what is the protocol for you i've had some stuff so now um like i'm working at a shitty job i don't give a fuck about these people i'm not i'm not getting anybody this is an adult conversation right yeah because this is like a business thing it is because it is people do take this into account and it is protocol well you know when i started uh editing you know a lot of working in like uh, just a lot of like good jobs are like do people want to work with you you know what I mean? Mm. Not how good you are at the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How easy do you make the job for other people? How fun is it to like if you're really good at something, but you're just a fucking crank the yeah, whole time? Yeah. Like everybody's like, it's like, ugh. I know. You know, it's like I don't want to. Do I really want to do? Is it worth it? Can I find somebody that maybe is not as good, but it's like a little more pleasant, right? So yeah. in, especially in like the editing world, like I would buy people gifts. Like bottles of wine, bottles wow. of scotch. So even at your depths of uh, your addiction, right. when you had that uh, art house kind of editing art yeah. house job, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you knew then, or were you taught by the guy I who learned, mentored you? I learned The guy that. who mentored you taught I, you that? I would see it happen. So like there would be, you know, here's the thing about like when you're working on a commercial, like even as like the second assistant who's sweating and hung over the whole time, like you're all part of the like this little team. Uh, you know, you're working on this visa commercial that's just got this bankroll, right? Like everyone is a essential part of this thing. And Everybody's if you can't get, do your job, right? If they don't do theirs, and you need to make sure because you... because as the second guy, like I'm bringing in music tracks, like you know what I mean? Like here's, you know, I'm the first line of like the music that's coming in. Mm-hmm. So and then people have like pick from that. So it's like if you're good at like finding music or like finding like. Uh, fonts or some stupid shit so that, that really is because you're you're contributing because of the detailed part of it and they're like hey i'm doing the big shit story structure figuring that out right i need a really hip font to go here yeah. or i need a really great piece of music get and me, if you bring it and the guy likes it or the woman likes 80 it, tracks that, or, of like this or awesome. 40 tracks of like this and it's like so like all of that kind of like assistant work like you're you become known as like, oh, dude, he's yeah, he's good at the music. He's good at the music or like, oh, this guy's really good with graphics. Like, he, you know, so you kind of find your way. And it's like, could it happen where more than one editor would request your help on that kind of thing? Sometimes. And sometimes. Then, okay. But like when you're with a guy like you're, you're that's your person. you're that okay. guy, like if it's a big account and someone is like a lot of money on it. And, and they like, need someone like, hey, can, can you a help specialty person for can something? You help EJ out on this. Uh, he's looking for some music. He's kind of run. You know, if somebody's like spinning out a little bit. Yeah. They, yeah they're yeah, not yeah, really yeah. finding the way. Uh, you know, because you all work for the same company. Yeah, overall, you, know you got to get the job basically. done. So yep. they'll, they'll they'll move, they'll shift I didn't, you around. I didn't realize bit. that that you know because there's so many parts of an edit. Because even though you look at the the title card for a movie or whatever, the editor gets their own title card, and then they put what PGA at the end of it sometimes. And a- that, ACE a- AC and that's a, their house, right? So there's no no no, no. AC is the uh, union. Oh. PGA is like PGA means you are um, a certain a level of a producers guild association. Okay. I believe it is. Yeah, and then AC is the um, American. Or uh, am I mixing up the cinematography? Is ACE uh, editor is there is an editors union, but most okay. of editors are not. But it's one union. person's name or. Right, not like fifty people. When there's a lot of people doing those jobs that you're talking All about, all of those jobs are at the yeah. end. Yeah, those titles, those yeah, credits yeah, are at yeah, the end. Yeah. So like when I watch a show, I'll watch. I'm and it drives me nuts. It's so funny we're talking about this because I get nuts over it when I'm watching a show on like Netflix or any of the fucking apps. They don't show you the credits. They jump to the next episode. Like you gotta, you gotta find that remote within like five seconds to to get. To, to not have it jump to the next episode or back to the homepage or anything. Cause I'm like, I just want to listen to, I want to listen to the last song that's playing over the credits 
and see if I know somebody that worked on it. You know what I mean? Like I just I like to pay my yeah. I like yeah, all yeah. of these people made this happen yeah. just as much as you know these other people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe the script and the director did a little more <laughs> than an like entourage where uh, everyone walks out of fucking. Um, Aquaman? No, 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 no. And he's uh, trying Queens to be. Uh, no, no. He's trying to be Escobar. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And Billy directed that sh piece of shit. And then everyone's <laughs> walking out and he gets up. And he's like, get it. Hey, what about the people, the little people that make like, <laughs> freaking <Yeah>. out? <laughs> That's great. Totally. I totally feel that way. Like, I love watching the credits. I mean, some of the Marvel stuff is ridiculous because yeah, it's just... It's green screen guys and just, the 3D people. I mean, it's, it's just names yeah. and names and names Different of, like... Different countries of, of people working of on it. Of just green screen people. Yeah, that's just wild. Uh, but, like, a small movie or even, like, a show, like, I always... Because every once in a while, I'll see somebody. I'm like, oh, dude. Yeah. It's nice to see. Like, we worked in a fucking mailroom together. Like, yeah. that's so cool. Uh, but, yeah, so back to the original thing. Yeah, I learned... That you know we would we would go out after a job, like that was always a thing. So you learn about like spending the money, like the the tail end of the money, if there's money left over, that gets spent at like the strip club, yeah, right. or like a big fucking steak dinner. So there's a whole like culture of like, especially for post production, like production they'll do a big dinner, but it's really it's like two days, you know. Production. There's a lot of women in the ed editing field. Yeah, there are right. Yeah, traditionally, uh, traditionally there's yeah. more. Because uh, when know. you said strip club, I'm thinking. Well, I mean, I've been to strip clubs with. I, that, females. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like those when you think of like a company. Hey, okay, we got a little bit of a budget. We're all gonna go to scores now. <laughs> like that's yeah. a a party night. But now you can never get away with that. Uh, Unfortunately, I, don't know. I have no idea. I mean, here's the thing: money. That money's all that. That yeah. isn't the same money. No, this is like early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. still there was still big money yeah. like that. That money is no longer yeah. exists. So that whole thing is not even that ad money is not like it used no, to be. Right? Yeah. Absolutely not. It's all spread out over like internet web. I mean, really, it's like the flash guy who makes the banner is hit. is is valued as much as the fucking cinematography. You know what I mean? It's insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was watching the latest season of The Crown and they had this whole episode focused on when uh Dodie Fayed and Princess Diana are on that yacht before anyone knew they were dating and they're saying that uh, the dad hired the best paparazzi in the game and gave him the coordinates of the yacht. So he could get those pictures in circulation because ultimately he wants to make sure that he looks legitimate to get some citizenship from the you know from the UK. So it's like this big convoluted overall, you know, trying to get some leverage kind of thing, and they get word of it. Buckingham Palace, the Fayeds get word of it, and they're like, "It's coming out Sunday in the Daily Mirror." Mm, and you uh, remember that you know 1990 whatever it was when they got together. You get the you get the courtesy hat tip from the publication. Oh right. Like this yeah. is coming out Sunday. Yeah. Let you get your ducks in a row for the response. Yeah. And then because they knew they had the exclusive, they run it. And then they sell the reprint to another two papers for an additional money to basically make up the cost of what they had to pay the photographer well, for that's, that shot, right? And that's the thing too, is like that's kind of the same thing we're talking about. You're greasing the wheels. That's what I mean though. Yeah. It's like one of those things where nowadays like that doesn't exist anymore, but it's like a whole world attached, like, oh, here's the news, here's how we're gonna do it, and you can literally plan it's gonna stay in the cycle for seven days. And I wonder too. And that's what like, ad like that ad shit. I wonder if like nepotism has affected that. You know what I mean? Like it used to be like you would grease the wheels, just like, hey, I you know, we'll go out, we'll spend money on this thing, you bring your next job here, mm -hmm. this and that. But now there's so much just like rich kids. What were you talking about? You were talking about a job where uh not you like you were you were not supposed to be working there because it was like a like this is this job is for rich people. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, rich yeah, kids, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yes. Like that is so more prominent now. What was that? That was a long time ago. I forgot, what that, I forgot yeah, what that yeah. was. But that's that, but the, your point about that ad money not being there. It made me realize watching that episode of The Crown how much advertising could dictate how much they were being paid because they could literally like they literally had five days to come up with a push and ran ads everywhere. Ran ads. everywhere. Everywhere yeah. saying we're gonna launch the craziest shit on Sunday. 
Yeah, because right, right, right. you had the leverage. No, you know, someone leaked would leak that folder directly to their social media account. You know, TM, TMZ is leaking that. You know, if their social media, there is no, that's why there's no leverage for ads anymore like that. There's just a, the game has changed on how information is being dispersed, so it's right. killed the ad money, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, what right. I'm saying. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Oh, in a long yeah, way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, um, but back to the gifts, there was always like, um, it was always such a thing like you wouldn't, because then I went from working at like a boutique uh, place as like a, you know, piece of shit like drunk oh dude I forgot that you have to editor. think of what to give people back and then, then. I, there was no Amazon gift card yeah. you had to think of a gift for somebody it was somebody. always booze yeah. you would always oh, just give everybody booze that was so safe booze was the safest thing yeah 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 um, but then when you go to like a corporate office they have rules like you're not allowed to give somebody no, no like, I know those rules yeah you're not allowed to give yeah, somebody like more than a like traded, a, a publicly traded company yeah 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 they like have a $200 so dollar limit rules. all that shit yeah 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 but even that used to be you know finance used to of all people have the biggest budgets to party. Oh, I bet. Uh, I mean, you could justify a, if, you know, was to getting good, then you could justify a $40,000 event just for some guy going to another job or who's mm-hmm. someone who's been there five years. Mm-hmm. Like, if they are high enough up, you could justify a 40K bar tab. I've seen it. It's crazy. Uh, now, dude, Nope. It's big. There's a big they, hoagie. I, li- seriously, <laughs> it's a big. Hey, we got a big yeah, sandwich six, up on two thirteen. Two six foot sandwiches <laughs> up on thirteen. Hurry up! It's <laughs> Hurry going up. quick. <laughs> but you want to you hear about Bob? Bob's leaving. There's a big sandwich upstairs. <laughs> we had we had just, just had Jess Levin on, and she was talking about how the union guys eat first. That's like all right. All the real workers eat, then the fucking my people eat after. But it's not even like you don't even get to eat after they bring it to the common area. <laughs> Yeah. Well, all the asshole, just all the, of my guys are waiting with Tupperware. The fucking rats. <laughs> it's five in the afternoon. Just everybody just breathed like, on it, get, picked yeah, apart. Like, who's picking apart the sandwiches? I would have eaten this. <laughs> Somebody's pulling Dude, tomatoes off. Hey, the, if you want to oh. see, you could say all the woke shit you want in those meetings about this and that and the other and all the new verbiage out to make everyone feel so comfortable. Show them when you bring out the hoagie. Oh, yeah. That is, you want to see a class setting? Oh, uh, yeah. They bring out the fucking big hoagie. Yep. Yeah, you're going to yeah. see the class, uh-huh. how you see me here. Yeah. That's how you're really going to know. I worked at a place uh, where they had, like, a little break room, and um, they had a bunch of free, like, look. La Croix? La Croix? La Croix? La Croix. La Croix. Look at you getting more French. Yeah, I had an accent. Voulez-vous que vega de quoi ce soir? Get a good time roll, bro. He a creole. But they had a fridge of La, La Croix, and then they would have like little like uh, bags of chips and stuff like that. But then they would also put out um, the, um, they're like kind bars, but they're good. Like kind bars are just like. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like it's like a biting into a em- cement. It's, it's emergency. It's what I get at a gas station when I know I can't eat anywhere. No, it's in these a were like these were like good. They had like nuts, big uh, caramel on top. I forget what they were, but they were really good. And uh, man, they would just go as soon as that dude. Oh, you yeah. saw the dude coming, getting out of the elevator, yeah. and he dropped it off because he would only put two boxes out. So there's like, I don't know. 20, 24. It's like when we said that one episode, working class people, it's like the fringe benefit oh. of the job. So like that, you got a guy like me, you know, that's his whole day is set around when the fringe benefits. I get the home. fringe benefits. Dude, I get home with my bag and I'm just putting dumping them. La- LaCroix in my fridge. <laughs> you're just while you're doing that squat where you're like getting them from the bag. <laughs> Like you, were, like you work shouting, at a Circle K. Gina's shouting from the other the other room. Did you get the Pampaloose? <laughs> you know I like the Pampaloose. <laughs> it's a fringe benefit. <laughs> Meanwhile, these guys are stealing from the vault, you know, and you're dinging yeah. me for a Lacroix. <laughs> I got one of those little head, those little flashlights all on my head. <laughs> <laughs> With it, like, it's just a, a thing of my teeth. I'm like, yeah, I just, I got them. <laughs> don't worry, hon, I got them. <laughs> so fucking good. Uh, I don't like buying, I'm a terrible gift buyer, but I'm more, I've, I've gotten better, but I, I realized it was because I was so uh, self involved. And I also don't relate to, for a long time, to people that the protocol of it the protocol right um because i'm not necessarily emotionally moved by strangers gifts well and it's a mix of things too right there's like these rules and then you also have to just be no one taught me these rules a person and then you also have to just be a person with this person that you're not really a person with yeah yeah yeah, right so these these two things it, it it confuses you you're like okay do i just buy can i just 
tell me what to buy, and I'll just go buy it. I just it. want to do it. I'll I, do the errand. Yeah, the I have errand's no fine. I'll no yeah. problem doing the errand. It's the thought that needs to go into it that I'm like, where are we at? What's the protocol here? Yeah, I don't even really know this fucking guy. No, not at like, all. What, yeah. And it's one of those things where I think, like, at the end of the day, people can talk about their childhoods and all the things that I've brought up on this show and many other shows about how fucked up stuff was and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, all that stuff, like, the wounds heal, the bruises heal, but ultimately the problem is when you're at a job and you have not been taught the protocol, right? right? Like now having a son, if my son gets into any kind of job right, or needs to get any kind of job, the relationship building part of it, I can explain to him yeah. in a number of ways, mm -hmm. not just you got to you got to do this thing. But like, why? Like, what is the ch what's what is the game within the game? Where's where where does genuine meet protocol? You right. know, like, how do I figure this out? And it's little stuff like that. How to tie a tie? How to approach an interview? How to write a resume? How, like all the things that when you do have a fucked up beginning, right? You don't learn. Yeah. You get hammered on. Yeah. And that's such like a, especially like in a working class way, if like you're trying to move up to the big seat, mm -hmm. you're like trying to get the supervisor job, like you got to learn all that shit. And the guys that learn that shit are probably because they stayed at the same job for 10 years. You don't just walk into a company. Like you got to be there if some of these guys are there for 15 years right. before they even get that shot. Uh, yeah, I always find that interesting. You're talking to it a little bit about like, like network, like how to, like the protocols of like when, so, if somebody get, hey, somebody recommends you for something, right? Yep. And even if you don't want the job at this point, you're like, I kind of have to go do the thing because my buddy kind of put himself out a little bit. Yes. Right? Like, I don't, you, when you find out more I was about the job. awful at that. Yeah, right. And you, you're oh. like, I have to go and I have to see this through. And then, you know, however it goes, it goes. I don't need to take the job, but I do need to reciprocate this. Reciprocate this yes. This, and like, that's the thing. thing. Sometimes because especially in offices and especially as you get higher up in offices or in offices that actually are big companies, there is so much more. Not, there's so much more like, protocols and politics. And sometimes, you know, in the very beginnings or in the very middle, like developmental areas that we, we just had just. Uh, Lebanon, like I mentioned, and we were talking, <laughs> and it's funny because it reminded me, I told her that story about how a certain club asked me to pay for a clip, and the fact that I said it to her, I remember kind of thinking, ah, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but ultimately it reminded me of when I was coming up, I would say the worst shit thinking that was like networking. Oh. Uh, like, hey, can you get them to, you work there, can you get them to give me my clip with that? Like, I just yeah, didn't know right. that people don't show their hand. Right. I didn't know that because right. my whole upbringing is showing your hand and then some, right. you know, because I work with, you know, I worked around and knew guys and grew up around guys that talked about everything at the job. There was no buffering. If you wanted a raise, you would talk so much shit about the boss. Right. About not getting your raise. Yeah. And everyone was saying the same shit, so there was nothing to rat about. Right. And I'm going to these offices talking mad shit, yeah, 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 yeah. thinking that we're all part of the no. same code, and yeah. we're not. No. I'm getting like dirty looks from people the next week because yeah. it's all getting back like to the bosses that yeah. I'm saying because people are trying to like gain edges and play different games. Or well, I'm just, and I'm a moron too. I'm but a moron. here's the other thing that does happen. I'll say this: not that everybody is ratting out, but people are afraid. That because you're having this conversation with them, that they're, they're associated. now associated with yeah. this conversation. So if somebody does rat it out, now they got to be like, no, it wasn't me. It was Josh. So it makes people uncomfortable it because does. it's unless you're like it's an insular kind of thing where like, dude, we hang out all the time. Like we're you, know, you can talk yeah, about no, anything. No, I, I, but I with people, a lot you, of relationships. This yeah, way. because people get uncomfortable and it's not because they they're going to go. They're afraid somebody is going to. And now I'm fucking looped in. Now yeah. you're looping me in with this fucking shit. Uh, yeah, I, I, my I, job's hard enough. dude. It, Shut up. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> but that's I <laughs> wish someone would have said yeah, right, that yeah. for so long. I think people either thought a number of things, but the top two to me in my position, what I think is people dealing with me in that era of my life is either this dude's crazy. Right. Or this dude knows something I don't know. Or this guy's like absolutely 
knows what's going on and he's purposely trying to piss me off. Like a lot of people I think thought I was purposely trying to oh, right. insult them yeah, yeah, or yeah. belittle them or pass up an opportunity they're offering me. And 90% of the time, I guarantee you I had no idea what was right. going on. Yeah. Like I thought I was doing the right thing because yeah, yeah, I like, this is what we do where yeah. I come from. We talk that shit. It doesn't mean anything, you know, and I, it's funny. I was in a therapy session once and the therapist looked at me and goes, you know, I'm proud that you, it was like something, you know, I, I was accountable for. And she goes, you know, you got to get past this Josh thing where you make a big scary speech and you burn all the bridges. <laughs> and it really is like how I've dealt with business. Yeah. Not good, bro. Yeah, and right. You don't have someone to chill you out yeah. and go like, hey, man, here's why you have to monitor this shit. Here's why, like, you have to say hi to that that leader. Here's why you have to, like, chill and not show your hand. I mean, that's stuff that, like, if you worked, if if you grew up with a mechanic who's owned his own shop or worked in his buddy's shop and they're having fist fights at the job and no one's like, that's my life. Yeah, right. Why, I can't punch this guy at the job. Right. He can't punch me. Yeah. Or we can't cuss each other out. And You know, like, why can't we do this? And it, it's it's hard. It took me a while to figure out uh, not to show my hand. I, um, I it took, like, I, I think I learned that more um, with the waiting tables. Um, I had a couple guys, uh, a good friend of mine was like, dude, you got to stop. Just stop talking. Just shut up sometimes. You don't need to say. Don't fill it up. Every yeah, thought. Yeah. That Less comes, is more. Right? Yeah. Just stop. You're uh, you making it weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking so much. Shit. Just get into a place where it's going sideways on you. <laughs> it <laughs> like all no comes, one to end it. It always comes back to me just fucking myself. You know what really I mean? Does. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just stop talking. <laughs> you fucking chatterbox. Like some old lady. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So fucking funny. Showing your hand is such a working class thing. I just I just remember my dad constantly coming. This is before he was even all fucked up. Just coming home like, I got an argument with this fucking guy. Like just always in a you know what's situation. Everything's personal. You know what's an interesting thing, too? That, um, for my grandfather, my grandfather was a big, uh, like, he showed his hand. like, And it was a weird thing that I learned... Uh, he used to always, and it's such a simple, stupid thing, but he would always put his big bills on the outside of his money roll. Mm -hmm. And then I remember somebody going, no, dude, you put them on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't, if somebody's, somebody, you don't want yeah. somebody knowing you have. No, put the ones lot, on the outside. You yeah. put the ones on the outside. And I remember learning that. I was probably like 22 23. Game right? Yeah, yeah. Totally changed like so many things. Like, nah, dude, you don't. Mm -hmm. You keep it low. You keep it low profile, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't, don't show you, your hand. Yeah, but when you're insecure, uh, like I grew up, and yeah. like my, you know, when you are broke, you're always trying to be show, the big yeah. shot at the the sandwich shop. Yeah, that's what I call it. Being the big shot at the sandwich shop. My grandfather had a sandwich shop. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, like I'm gonna get shot. my yeah. picture up in this sandwich shop yep. one day yeah. instead of the big picture. Right. And and I think like that is the hardest part to stomach for me sometimes is the God. Damn well, it. here's the thing, though. You there is a roll of the dice. Those guys that are always talking and that I mean, those are the guys, you know, probably four percent of them go on to be big shots. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, like very so small amount. Yeah. There's usually the loudest is the weakest. And it's what they're saying, but I, you know, I'm talking about those dudes we know that are always the main, the hero of every story, right? Yeah, no yeah. matter how dumb the story is, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's about them at the job picking right. up some. It could be as mundane as picking up a shipment, and they find a way to make themselves. And the guy, of course, back there's no me. You know, they let me fucking walk in the back. <laughs> I don't check my ID because I've been there 20 years. Like, I'm their guy. I help them out a lot. Like, I am. That's who are my people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, you, you, yeah. Show me a guy talking like that. I probably know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just always the car blanche. Yeah. You know, I got car blanche over there. I walk in. The guy says the tiles are over there. I said, no problem. I just pick my walk out. Put some on so my tab. Good. It's great. It's like your dad at Buca de Peppos. <laughs> it's Buca de Peppo. <laughs> It's my dad at Buga de Peppo ordering fucking drinks around the house. Oh, my God. So good. I don't care about being the biggest guy in the sandwich shop anymore. The, no, the, no, 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 no. The no. coolest guy. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Uh, I just want to, like, uh, 
I just want to carve out my yeah yeah my my little thing. I uh, let's talk. Let's let me ask you about this now. Like, so uh, what are your feelings on like the Christmas decorations going up at the office? Like, <laughs> what? Uh, how how are you? Like, I like it. So I, uh, for the, the longest time now, I've worked at really massive companies that have a professional team do it. Uh huh. So I love it. Yeah. I hated it when it was like they used to make like. My job, like secretaries do it. Oh, right. It's like I don't have an eye for that. As a yeah, that. right. As an assistant, like, it's not like, my job. Hey, go down. But and it was go like grab that. you group. It would be me yeah. and like five, six-year-old ladies. You guys go ahead and uh, put some of the uh, you know, make a Christmas cheer up. And the women, I mean, the, and the old ladies I worked with, God bless them. They liked. They liked it. I'm not saying they liked because they're women. I'm saying that it appealed to them. They're right. 60 years old. They were into it. And I think even now, 42, it might appeal a little more to me because I have a son and whatever. But I'm 27 years old. I don't want to fucking. I don't know what to do. And put, plus, I feel like this is not my job. Putting up decorations at the, de- at the job. Awful. Oh, ah, man. And you see my apartment, buddy. I'm not putting uh, shit up. No. 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 This. I. This is my workplace. I don't. And like the uh, investing here. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, if somebody did it, like the the room where I sit, or like yeah. the the my cubicle, wherever. I'd be grateful. I'm, sure. Yeah. Hey, this is cool. I like yeah. it. I like I like the stuff going on. But if I have to do it, it lo- and it always looked like shit when it's I not did gonna it. get done. You could always tell the parts that I. I remember one time they they wanted me to put together some lady's baby shower, and I'm like, dude, I'm 28 years old. I don't know one. And she was like this kind of fancy hoity-toity lady. Did you have to do the thing? It, where, you should have saw people we, were offended at it when I did. Would you it. do the scissors? What was that thing when you like make? Oh like, yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I, we, <laughs> no, no. No, there was like, no that. <laughs> I could see Josh. I mean, it was that. like, and like, you, I'm like you cut yourself scotch taping things <laughs> to the wall. I'm bu- I'm buying like dollar store like because th- there's a whole protocol there that they wanted met that I was not informed about. Like, no. why am I supposed to know how to do this? Because no. I'm a secretary. No. I'm supposed to know how to decorate for a lady's baby shower. I don't want to do that shit. No, that lady. She was so disappointed. You could oh. tell when she walked in. Oh, I bet. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm well, surprised she tried to fire me. They make a big deal out of it. Oh, People dude. People make a big deal out of babies. I mean, fucking look at these gender reveal Yo. parties. I mean, they're fucking starting forest fires. Because <laughs> we, we had to find out what gender that, your fucking another, stupid kid is. Like, and it's like, I, it took me insane. a minute to understand, like, why that's valuable. Like, why people value that. Because I didn't value that. I mean, why do we even... That's great you're having a baby. But that's a personal thing. Why do we... Right. Why is it... Just because we, if we're giving you anything, you should be pumped. But it had to be, but it had, because she was someone that was very high up. Right. It needed to look a certain way. It's all about appearances. Well, it gets back to that gift thing, too. It's like we're we're giving her this. And, and like that stuff becomes like part of the perk, right? Yeah. Because now I'm getting into the thing. Uh, it's that time of the tipping. The yeah, tipping's I got, coming. I tip out my guy, too. Bro, I tip out a lot of guys. Well, you have doormen, right? I got doormen. See, I got the porter. I, I got. Worked, but I here's the in, other thing. I put that car in a garage. Oh, that guy you got a tip, too. I know that. No. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, there's 10 guys that work there. And I'm like, can I just, uh, I just want to give you guys, well, we prefer, you know. I go, how's prefer. it work? Prefer. Like Cash is king, one guy told me recently. Like, go they, fuck yourself. They prefer it if I tip each guy individually. I'm like, I can't just give a, a well, lump thing yeah, and you guys you just guys chop it up. at it. But they're good to me. Like when I come down there, my no, car yeah, is yeah, ready. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, oh god, you gotta, don't want to mess that up. I got to write. They will do it. They that's their money. They oh. they're like Italian people with that book when they give money yeah, at a yeah, wedding. That's how wedding. those because yeah. that's part of their salary. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I don't a lot mind of work, that though. kind of tipping. I don't mind that kind of tipping. I don't mind the tipping. It's like I wish I could just. Here's four hundred dollars. Can you the ten of yeah. you split it up? I got to no. give each guy forty yeah, bucks. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's it's a lot of work. Fucking too large in the hole before you even buy a gift with the tipping. Oh, bro, it's You're a, more the, than that. The tipping? No, no, it's probably close to that. Too like, large. Probably between eh. the doorman and the fucking porters and the and then the hairdresser. Yeah, the dog the, walker. The, oh, you all, do a year end tip for them too. The dog walker, hairdresser. The, the dog walker is like a kid, right? No, oh, she's like an adult. She's thirty. Oh, yeah. yeah. I give her basically for the dog work. You do like a one week's pay. Man, that's wild. Yeah, I don't have any of that shit. Yeah, it's uh, it's. I mean, it's fine. It's just keeping track New York of is it. Just filled with tipping people. Out. So many, you so go to much Massachusetts tipping. or some fucking Illinois one off town. Give it an apartment complex. Maybe if it's like a up uppity up one, you tip the guy at the front. You tip the door guy, whatever. But no one else. Yeah. 
I never a dry cleaner like up in it's the only in New York City. I, I never heard of tipping would, their dry cleaner. I would hear the uh, yeah dry cleaner gets tipped at, like what the trash man. My dad used to tip the trash guys. Uh, he I would, would give if him I a knew the guy. six pack of beer. Yeah, but see uh, that's a working class tip. Totally, that used to go a long way. Big time. You know, a bottle yep. of rum or a, f- yep. a six pack. I remember in the eighties as a kid that would go suburbs, a long way. Yeah, tipping the trash guy, big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mailman. That's another thing. Like appropriate tips as you get higher up. As you, it's uh, cash. A lot of other t- like working class. It's cash, but you could also get away with like, hey, here's a, here's some beer, or here's oh like, right. I know what you collect. Here's a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like I know yeah. you're working on that new Mustang in there, like. You're trying to refer, you know, every guy has like a garage project. Yeah, like, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you could get away with that shit because it's like oh, well, that's a necessity. Cool, but that's a yeah. cool, that goes into the, like the thing like you're now you know you're, those guys. You start to them, know them. You're hitting them on a human yeah, uh, yeah, level yeah, yeah. as opposed to like just here's some money. Uh, yeah. Which is always the coolest thing. It is. And it is, I do have to say, like, it is kind of cool when you nail a gift. It's the best feeling. It's really cool. With my wife or with a good friend. Yeah. And they love it. Yeah. Um, you nail a gift. It's awesome. And it's funny when, and then the flip of like when somebody thinks they nailed a gift for you, and they, you're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> I brought my. So, sometimes I've had so many fails. I brought my my brother and his family once. There was I love egg McMuffins, uh, uh-huh. and I bought this thing that had two sides on it. And you, it's a built-in, you plug it in, and it's like a, the middle of it is almost like its own little stove. And you crack an egg, you put the English muffins on top and the cheese, mm. and then you bake it. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't toast the English muffin, which is pointless. And oh. I didn't know that. I you didn't read toast. it right. Yeah, you got to toast and I it. I sent it to my brother, and because I bought one for myself, thinking uh-huh. that him and I would love to do this. He didn't say it, but I know the guy returned it. <laughs> Oh, did he? Yeah. Cause, and then I thought about it. I'm like, I, for a second, I'm like, ah, I wonder if you use that. And then I used it twice, and both times was like a force. It was like yeah. at a principal I used right. it, and I go, fucking smart guy. Yeah. I think that shit's still sitting in my yeah. fucking pantry. I have a panini press like that. Yeah. Because when am I using this? Yeah. It it's just a takes pain a, in the ass. The thing is, that you live in New York with, with a small kitchen. If you had like a big, yeah, huge if I had house, an island, an and, island, all that stuff, where you could keep that or an extra cabinet. But like, we don't I have got a lot of space here for a New York apartment. Don't you get do. me wrong, but it's not that much. I'm not pulling it out uh, uh, to do pan- that. Yeah, the yeah, panini press is like so far back into the thing. Yeah, I my panini press is uh, in the back of a closet. I don't even. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's and behind, like, yeah. some old boots. <laughs> I'm going to re- re-gift it. I, I might give it to one of these assholes at the job. Hey, man, you love egg McMuffins? Here you well, go, bro. I do that with stuff. Like, anytime I'm, like, an old TV or something like that, uh, I'll go down to the maintenance. Because the maintenance guys are in my building. You know, it's five. Yeah, we yeah, live in like, a five in building. Office. It's a new TV, whatever. Yeah, I go down there. I'm like, yo, I got this TV. I, I can bring, I'm going to leave it here with the electronics, or I could just... You want me to bring it in here? And he's like, what's what's it? I'm like, Sony. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it I bet that fucking trash rummaging is great for maintenance dudes. Oh, those dudes? In certain buildings. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Man. I put stuff down there sometimes. I'm like, nobody's going to want this. And I come and by and it's gone. People figure out a way. It, like in a half an hour, it's gone. People are hoarders, though, too. That's true. I feel like more Electronic and more, hoarders, big time. Yeah. I feel like more and more people now are revealed as hoarders on some level than I've ever noticed because there's now a designation for it. It's a mainstream designation. You know, it's used in popular culture. I mean, I knew hoarders growing up. Well, that's what I mean, though, but it wasn't as like, you didn't know it was called hoarding. It wasn't mainstream. See, I would say this. I would say people hide it better now because it's more... Uh, no, people people know that it's a problem. Uh, you know so it's I mean? like when fat when fat people eat when no one's around, right? Like they won't thing. eat at a party. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. But they then, want anyone to see me. They want in public. Yeah, they, yeah. They'll order it. Never see me. But then, yeah, they're like you lock know, themselves down in a room. Two pizzas when they get yeah, home. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I th- I think the hoarder thing. Because when I was growing. Also, I guess I live in New York City now, and I grew up. Well, your up, grandfather used to save all his newspapers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was a hoarder Sitting for in sure. his lawn chair in the middle of the living room. Dude, he had every newspaper for like, I don't know, 40 years? Like, it was insane. He's fucking Edward R. Murrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's a trash bag Edward R. Murrow. <laughs> <laughs> he would spend so much time just like tying those newspaper stacks up and like organizing I mean, them. It was like a ritual. Yeah. 
I mean, it was a mental disorder. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, you know. He would also go out in the morning and wipe off all the uh, moisture on the on the windows of the yeah. cars. It's like nut job shit. Yeah, it was a little. Like, my grandfather would stress himself out. He retired early, left my grandmother to work to support no oh, spills. Yeah. Retired early, and then made like a he would stress himself out like on trash day getting the trash together that was like his one big chore mm. and he would get really stressed out it's like an anxiety it. thing like total yeah. anxiety about the regiment like regimenting yeah. it and then and it makes it and immobilizes them yeah. right yeah it's yeah. like that kind of anxiety just the thought thing. of having to do it he was irritated the whole day because he would do it at and a it's certain all, time he probably thought about it all week all, all week yeah the other thing that irritated him the tv guide he would circle the things he wanted to, because it was before you could get the live oh, TV yeah. guide. No, it was a big. So he got yeah. the physical one, yep. and every day highlighted what he wanted to watch. His TV schedule for the day. Yeah. God damn, that's a lot of work. He planned out his yeah. laziness, mm -hmm. and it would stress him out. That yep. was his work day. Yeah. The garbage, like thinking about the garbage. Mm -hmm. How many beers are in the fridge? Is that OC? And the, is that OCD? What is that? That's something. It's, it's an anxiety, compulsion. It's compulsion. definitely compulsion. Yeah, it's because compulsion. I found I do stuff like that because of uh, I can control it. And as a trauma thing, uh, uh -huh. I don't doubt that my grandfather probably had some severe shit happen to him in yeah, his life. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a control thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he can control the whole day, he feels like he's safe. And I, I remember and I still sometimes have to like check myself when I'm doing stuff like that. Like when I'm really depressed or I'm going through a stressful time, I will. That's why cleaning sometimes is the thing I do because I right. can control that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that's really what it's about. It's I get nuts part. over a thing. That's what hoarding is. It's the control. It is right. Yeah, it is a similar. But these things kinda... mean something to you because the thought of them being there is comforting. You're like creating you this control. little job. I for have yourself control. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna do something with that. Mm -hmm. It's always like I'm gonna do something with that. Like, I'm going to read those papers again. Like, why save them? It's right. always like, oh, I'm going to keep them. I mean, yeah, I'm going yeah. to read them again. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do something with them. So it's like a project. I make sure, like, I do that with emails. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, okay, let me get, I do like waves of things. But that's how I like, that's how I do like editing. Like, I'm editing something like first pass, second pass, third pass. And I'm, and I'm just I think calling. that's a working, I'm that's just how, like a, that's, that's how you work. That's how I work. Yeah, you, yeah. So for me, I'm the reverse. Instead of being a hoarder, I am a purger. You, you delete things like immediately. Too fast. And it's fucked me so many times. <laughs> yeah, dude. It has fucked me. <laughs> I was like, hey, how'd that show turn out? You're like, I accidentally threw it out. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that was a great set. You're like, yeah, I know. Stop talking about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm an idiot when it comes to that stuff. Like, I, I, there's something about it being gone that soothes me. It's like, got like a satisfying me. thing. Yeah, it, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I used to also be so depressed and insecure and weird. I used to brush my teeth in the dark because I hated how I look. Like hmm. I used to have so many weird triggers and they're oh, all yeah. kind of connected to having some kind of control. Uh -huh. This weird energy being put into like useless shit. Huh. Like, you know, getting ready in the dark. Huh. I just, the weirdest shit I would do. Interesting. Yeah, it's fucking wild i can't get ready in the dark i'm so colorblind I even, yeah, well, yeah. I, I, i'm like i i you know what i mean like you know i'm sure you're putting on this in the I, light I, I, right i'm i'm barely getting by in the light <laughs> i pulled out a fucking bright blue sock and a black sock today and i was just like i think these aren't and i held them up a little brighter light i was like god damn no they are not even close <laughs> but I like mean, yeah. see, what i would do if i were you this is like how deep my shit goes organizing is if I was colorblind, I guarantee you my drawer would just be like, this is where red goes. And I would figure out a labeling system so I always knew how to m match and get ready at the fastest speed. I'm pretty good with the socks because I, what I did is I went and I bought like 30 pa pack, a 30 pack of like the same sock. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there are, I'm down to like it's a laundry day kind of situation where like I'm down to some old socks. Yeah. I mean, like, I was afraid when I took this shoe off and I came One in, there was, was a hole in it. You have to take a photo of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's clean. It's clown socks. It's clean. <laughs> I, uh, but, like, normally I don't have a problem with the socks. But, yeah, today I was down to, like, some, some, yeah. some fucking odd socks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so uh, did you buy uh, a gift for your wife yet? No. You know, we're broke right now. And the, the cost of... 
the apartment and the the daycare. Yeah, yeah. Just that alone. So has it been uh, it's talked got, about? Is it going to be? Is there like a detente? Yes. Like a like a number? Yeah. Oh, like there's oh there will be gifts, but it's at this level. So we're not that broke where we're not going to buy each other gifts. We do sometimes where it's like. Let's just do a massage day. Yeah, so together we, kind of thing. We're getting into that aspect of our marriage now because of the cost of him. Yeah. Because uh, last year he wasn't in this type of daycare that he's in now, which for those of you that are parents, you know what I'm talking about. And for those of you that are parents in New York City, you really know what I'm talking about. Uh, it just drains your fucking wallet. Oh, dude. It's I, an unreal amount of money I'm paying. Yeah. Uh, so I we decided, yeah. so we decided to do like, Oh, let's not spend more than X amount of dollars, which is a low, it was a low amount, which uh -huh. is great. Uh, but I used to go, it's probably why I have so much debt. I used to, for my wife, I go, there was something about getting her the greatest gift yeah. that I got really obsessed with. And it was a problem because it would either be, I spend a thousand dollars or I spend nothing. Like I, I couldn't just do it. Oh, uh, interesting. You know, for birthday, I, I started to a point where I couldn't top myself because I didn't have the right. the resources. <laughs> uh, but now a, it's different. I did a gift one year. Um, I guess it was a couple years ago, back when the uh, with the Mandalorian. Remember that uh, Star Wars show with yeah, Baby yeah. Yoda? Yeah. So I get her, um, and it, you couldn't find any merch. It was like the, the show had come out, and I guess it was a surprise hit, and they didn't have Baby Yoda merch out really? yet for the, for the holidays. Yeah, That's I remember. It was a big miss. It was a huge miss. And then... Um, so I had to buy something on Etsy. Uh, it was just a coffee mug, and it had a picture of, like the baby yoga with the with the bowl of soup kind of thing, like uh, me like coffee or something mm -hmm. like in the mm -hmm. Yoda kind of language. And then I was like, you know, it was like twenty five bucks. And then I go and I get one of those uh, crazy massage guns. Oh yeah, yeah, it was which, like forty bucks. The massage gun? How much was it? It was like two fifty, dude. Holy shit! You got the real deal one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it work? It's phenomenal. Uh, all she cared about was that mug. <laughs> I was like, "Damn it!" Well, that, I think she was like so into the mug. She was like, "This is adorable. This is so cute. I love it." I was like, "Yeah, this massage gun's pretty cool too." She's like, "Yeah, thanks." I bought a <laughs> I bought a massage, nothing that fancy, but I kind of in that area, a massage like you put it over you for my wife. Well, like a vest. It, it's in there. I'll fucking show it to you after we get off this show. But what um, do you mean? Like, is it like so beans like, or uh, something? You plug it in, it's electric, uh -huh. and all the me mechanisms are in the, you pull it, there's like loops, you put your hands in, Oh. and it, you put them in so you can Ooh. keep it on your back. Ooh, that's cool. And then there's variations on there, you click, of how it strokes you and all that shit. Uh-huh. Um, Was intense. that a holiday gift? I think it might have been a birthday Bur gift. Birthday gift? She's maybe used it 10 yeah, times. Yeah, I know. The electronic gifts, I'm And done. she doesn't hate it, but it ain't like, I want that response. The, I want the Baby Yoda response. The, from the mug. And I've got, because I've gotten those from her a couple times, and it's so awesome. Oh, it's the best. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible, dude. Yeah. And I found that uh, because I'd spent so much, I mean, the minute I started making any kind of money, I had no idea how to deal with money. I, I, I spent so much on credit cards. I just spent 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 and i think i bought so much shit without waiting that now christmas when i before him uh -oh. christmas became like just like a whatever i didn't want anything yeah, i had everything yeah, 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 so right. that's also another thing where you're like how am i gonna make this etsy is the best way to go Etsy's it really great. is it's phenomenal it's incredible it really is so there buy something from etsy because <laughs> you can get it personalized and you don't have to spend a million dollars for 50 bucks you can get something pretty cool on Dude, etsy you know what i did for uh oh this is a good tip uh get your dog picture of your dog on socks yeah i love that i have that it's I have great those socks for now yeah. i mean the socks they're, the socks are terrible they're awful but it's I they're cute it. it's a cute you get that moment when you open it's it it's a stocking stuffer yeah fun. it's a fun little yeah thing. i love how our show working class holes turns into <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit amazon live <laughs> And they just make the qualityest stocking stuffers, and you keep your little pooch on there and give yourself a walk around Central Park. Next week we're going to talk about recipes. What you want to do is get yourself some nutmeg, <laughs> maybe a splash of oat to give it a little that zuzu or what do they call that shit? You want to mull your that wine. Za, that za, that za. <laughs> you can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshacardo.com for all dates. Uh, follow me on Instagram at edmcgallancomedy. Uh, go to my website, edmcgallan.com, to see my shows. Uh, we got an email. Email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. Have a great holiday. See you.
You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 